Hi, Andy. This is again Dr. C. H. Kiran Kumar <coughs> dealing you the machine learning. Now, today we are in linear models. Under this, we are going to discuss what is called univariate regression. Univariate regression, my dear friends. See, in this, we already discussed what is called residual, residuals. Now, what is called, no, least square method. Now, we'll discuss some more mathematics here, right? First point is, let us go for partial derivatives. Partial derivative, my dear friends. Suppose we want to, right, we'll see this. Univariate regression assumes a linear equation, W is equal to A plus B H. With A and B are, with A, with parameters A and B chosen such that the sum of squared residential residuals, sum of squared residuals, sigma I is equal to one to N, W I, W I minus a plus b h i whole square. See, that is, we have taken the error as, error as w i minus w i, this is how it is, h is e, see, w i minus a plus b h i, simply, see, w i wi to here you can easily see here right if this thing is sent to the left side we will be left with w minus a plus bh so that is what we have done here we call that is an error that is also that is only called error no so that error see error means See, some points are here, some points are not here. So this is called error, my dear friends. So this is called the error actually. This is the error. So we calculated W. Now actually our W, this is our W hash or W hat, whatever it is. Right now, for the error, this is the error. This error is nothing but wi. We calculated wi. So, so this would be our error wi minus a plus bh. So that is taken as error. How to get minimized? This should be minimized. In order to find the parameters, we take. We take partial derivatives of this expression. Partial derivative is common. See, right. Now, partial derivatives can be done by A on A as well as on B, my dear friends. If it is done row by row, row A, row by row A, sigma I is equal to 1, W is equal to, as this, no, it gives you wi, see, because it gives you a b h a whole square into this, uh, this two comes here, this two comes here, and you put a negative sign, that is rho, partial derivative formula, that is nothing but partial derivative formula, my dear friends, right? So, and uh, as a, a is a constant here, which will not have any effect, so this is all a constant. So this is all because we are partially derivation is done by A. So we'll get uh, what is called A hash is equal to W bar minus W bar minus C. B hash H bar. So if this A is taken out automatically, this remains W B H bar. So we take in this as B bar B hat. 
So this is how A hat is equal to W bar minus B hat H bar. Right? Hope you understood my difference. Okay, no problem. No need to worry here. Right. Similarly, if on B, if it is done, on B, if it is done, right, my dear friends, B means this is not a constant. So again, the same thing will happen. And again, again, this W will be similar, remain same. And A plus BHI into as rho by C, rho by rho B of BHI gives you a plus BHI gives you A plus BHI into HI. So, right. So, in this case, it gives you, see here, <coughs> HI minus H bar into WI minus W bar by HI minus H whole square. So, this is the final formula. So, the solution found by linear regression W is equal to, is equal to, a bar plus B bar H, A hat plus B hat H is equal to W bar plus B, B hat H minus H bar. See, it is quite difficult to understand, but right, right. So, finally, the regression coefficient we can write this as B hat. B hat is called regression coefficient for future X and target variable y, the regression coefficient is written as b hat is equal to n into n into rho xy by n into rho xx. That is why, so it, it gets cancelled. So, you will get rho xy by rho x square or xs, xx. Rho xy by rho x square or see, for a feature x and target variable y, the regression coefficient b hat is written as rho xy by rho x square. The covariance is measured in units of x times units of y. x times units of y and the variance in units of x squared, x squared. This is what it is. x, x times y, x times y. And this is x squared. So, the quotient is measured in units of y per unit of x. So, this is what regression coefficient is. Regression coefficient is my difference. Right. We can notice few more useful things. An intercept A bar, A hat is such that, in such that, regression line goes through x bar, y bar. See, this is x bar, y bar, if you say, right. Adding a constant x value, a constant x plus c, will affect only the intercept. So, intercept will be changed. See, x plus c is the automatic intercept will, change, will get changed. As we have taken deviations from the mean. So, unaffected by a translation. Unaffected by a translation. Now, what do you mean by zero center? Zero center. We may get a line like this. We may get a line like this, my dear friends. How to make it zero line? Zero center. Zero center. Suppose, if this, what is the value of x? This is x. Now, you de different, uh, subtract, subtract this x value, xi, from each x, from each x, then you'll get, it is called center, zero center, right? So, we can make a line which is not going through origin. We can just x value subtracting x by x bar, in which case the intercept is equal to y bar. See, same y bar, we could even subtract y bar from all values to achieve zero intercept. This is called without changing the problem. So, this is called zero center. What do you mean by zero center, Randy? 
zero center means changing changing x subtracting x values subtract x values by subtracting x bar x minus x bar gives you zero center very very important zero center next normalization what do you mean by normalization that is also called as normalization my dear friends that is also called as normal let us see suppose we replace xi with xi bar by see xi bar as xi by rho xx or rho x square this is nothing but <coughs> nothing but x variance this is called x variance likewise x bar with x x bar with x bar whole bar is equal to x bar by rho x x so then we have v hat as v hat is equal to 1 by n into i is equal to 1 to n sigma x i bar minus x i x bar whole bar x bar whole bar into y a minus y bar that is nothing but rho x bar y this is nothing but rho x bar y so in other words if we use normalize if we normalize x by dividing all its values by x variance we can take the covariance between the normalized feature and the target variable as regression coefficient see this is where our our univariate works the work, the function of univariate classification is one normalization of features by dividing its value by features variance first point is normalization the second point is calculate the covariance of the target variable and, and the normalized feature these are the major steps involved in right what is called normalization normalization just divide normalize means dividing x value by its covariance covariance is called normalization normalization my dear friends what are called outliers what are called outliers see very important thing is here in the sum of all residuals here in the least square method is zero is zero but very important thing is see it is not always no this is if this is the case right it is okay if the point lies on the but some points are very far some points are very far see it is worth keeping in mind that it also makes linear regression suspectable because of outliers points that are far removed from the regression line see far ikadunte atlni odilesi teesesam enduku teesesam we want to predict to 90% so evaithe dooram ga unnayo we eliminated those points but these points are called outliers these points are called outliers right if you talk about a matrix take a matrix let us know the terminology here this suppose this is x x usually denotes an n by d data matrix n instance n instance in rows okati 1 2 4 this is called n instance in rows and described by d columns first column second column third column etc d columns n by d this is called n by d matrix n by d matrix c these are all called variables these are all called rows and these are all called features features are variables in rows now xr xr 
denotes a particular row a particular row in x that is see this is x of x3 this is x1 uh, so something like this right and xc denotes a column xc denotes a column xrc what do you mean by xrc xrc it is one element element ela see for example this is our case so this is the xrc xrc element right so right we also use i and z to range over rows and columns respectively the jth column mean mean is defined as mu j is equal to mu j mu j is equal to 1 by n ante what is row see what is the mean if we want to define a column mean this is the column mean this is column mean that is we have to add af 0 z plus 1 j plus 2 j plus 3 j etc that is why it is written as x i z where i where is from 1 to n by n so this is how it is written mean so there is no confusion but these are all very important my dear friends mu of t mu of t is a, what is called mu power t mu power t it is called see what is this consisting of a row vector containing all column means see this contains all column means that is first column mean here the first column mean second column mean first column mean this is first column mean second column mean third column mean something like this it goes on nth column or dth column mean or nth column mean right or cth column mean last n by d matrix kabatti dth column mean right you can see clearly what is the a uh, mean right now this is called row vector my dear friends no only one column no uh, extra column right and uh, the jth column mean is defined as so i think you are right now if one is a no a n vector containing only ones that is n vector one 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 an n vector containing all ones this is called a n vector containing all ones then one mu power t one mu power t that is one mu power t one into mu power t that is equal to one means one is an n by d matrix and our mu power t is mu power t is a d by 1 matrix kabatti multiplication is possible so we will be getting n by 1 matrix as simple as this resultant matrix would be an n by d 1 matrix whose rows are mu power t hence see this hope hope you understood my dear friends this is called 1 into mu power t this is a an n by d matrix whose rows are mu power t hence x dash is equal to x minus 1 into mu power t has mean 0 in each column and refer to as zero centered data matrix zero centered data matrix this is called mu power t my dear friends so 1 into mu power t he gives you n by d n rows to d columns matrix whose rows are whose rows are mu power t hence see whose rows are mu power t mu power t see 
right hence x bar is equal to x minus 1 into mu power t has a mean zero in each column and is referred to as zero centered matrix it is called zero centered matrix zero centered matrix my dear friends All right, some more terminology. What do you mean by scatter matrix? What is meant by scatter matrix, my dear friends? Scatter matrix is the D by D matrix defined as X S is equal to X dash T into X dash. Where just seen, what is X dash? See here, X dash, what is X dash? X minus one into mu power T. One into mu power T. 1 into mu power t. If I write this here, see, x dash whole power t into x dash is equal to x minus 1 mu t whole t is equal to x minus 1 mu power t. That can be written as x power t. If you expand this, see, x, x power t, right, a minus b whole square, or a minus b whole power, see, you can expand this. Similarly, we can ex if we multiply this, we'll get x power t into x minus n into m minus n into m, where m is equal to mu mu power t, mu mu power t, mu mu power t. Say E is a d by d matrix whose entries are products of column means. Products of column means m j c is equal to uj into mu jc, mu c, mjc is equal to mjc, product of columns, mu j into mu c, right. Now, the next scatter matrix, what do you mean by scatter matrix? You have to remember, what is the scatter matrix? S yes, is equal to x dash whole power t into x dash. That can be written as x power t into x minus nm. This is scatter matrix, scatter matrix. Similarly, what do you mean by covariance matrix? Covariance matrix. What do you mean by covariance matrix? So covariance of x is sigma is equal to 1 by n scatter matrix. 1 by n scatter matrix. 1 by n scatter matrix. Whose entries are Pairwise covariances, see, rho jc is, pairwise, rho jc is equal to 1 by n sigma, i is equal to 1 to n, i is equal to 1 to n, x i j minus mu into x I C minus mu C. That is nothing but 1 by n into sigma 1 into 1 to n x i j into x i c minus mu i mu c. See, this is called covariance. Covariance matrix, my dear friends. Covariance matrix. Conchon difficult to count the but okay. What we can see, covariance matrix is this, which is very new to you and uh, me. So, kindly, uh, right. Two uncorrelated features have a covariance close to zero. Un uncorrelated features have covariance close to zero. Positively, correlated features have a positive covariance indicating a certain tendency to increase or decrease together. If one gets increased, the other also gets increased. If one gets decreased, the other also gets decreased. But a negative covariance, my dear friends, indicates that if one feature increases, the other tends to decrease and vice versa. See, one increases, the other decreases. If a positive covariance, then it is, they are almost no identical. Right, rho square, rho jj is equal to, is defined as, rho jj is defined as 
1 by n sigma i is equal to 1 in 1 to n x i j minus u j i whole square. This can be written as <coughs> 1 by n sigma i equal to 1 to n x square i j minus u square j. This is, is the variance of a column j. It is also called as rho square j. Rho square j. This is normal. It's okay. But the variance is always positive and indicates that the spread of values of a feature around the mean. See, positive means mean ki mean should two thousand na yen See, mean should two thousand na mean. The variance, if the variance is positive, it indicates that uh, the spread of values of a feature around the mean. So let us learn. We have learned today. What are that we have learned today? Right? Terminology. See, coming to, right, we have already learned what is called univariate least square method. Univariate least square method. So we have to do two things, normalization and find the covariance. These are the two steps involved in least square method, least square method. Now, after that, we beyond Co univariate coil. Univariate can be bivariate. Next, univariate means single, single feature. Bivariate and two features. For that only we are learning what is called matrices. What are called matrices. In this matrix, we have already seen now what is called C. Right. So we have already seen what is called a matrix, what is called a zero centered matrix, what is called a scatter matrix, what is called a covariance matrix, what is called variance of a column, variance of a column, all these things we have seen. In the next class, we see how these are all uh, no, defined for no, bivariate or multivariate uh, regression. Thank you.